Is your water alkaline or acidic? Dr. Livingood here, and we are gonna test a little science experiment today, bottles of water, different types, to see how acidic is the body. Now, why is this important before I show you the results? One is that cancer cannot live in an acidic environment, uh, in an alkaline environment, excuse me. It can only live in an acidic environment. So Otto Warnberg won a Nobel Peace Prize for that back in the 1920s, proving that the common denominator between all cancers is they live in acid. And so if your body is more acidic, then you're going to be cancer forming, uh, immune system problem forming, as opposed to cancer fighting and disease fighting. So one way to do that is to get your body more alkaline. And I'm going to touch base with it deeper. There's plenty more things we can check when it comes to water. But the number one thing we look at is how is the pH of the water. So I took some of your favorite uh, water bottles and drinks uh, that you may have, and we tested them. We used a little dropper uh, to test pH levels. And uh, the more orange it gets, the more acidic it is. The more blue or purple it gets, the more alkaline it is. So I lined them up in order of how the test results came out. We started with Food Lion's purified water, nothing for or against Food Lion, but it turned out to be the most acidic. That's probably why it's so cheap to buy. Uh, very acidic water um, gets down into the 5.0 range. And when it is this orange, 5.0 means it is 100 times more acidic than the blood flowing through your veins. So definitely taking you the wrong direction in that regard. Number two was Aquafina. Uh, that is still scoring down in the 5.0, 5.5 range. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely had this plenty of times in my life, but I believe Aquafina is made uh, by Pepsi. And so the Pepsi company, same place that's making very acidic soda, is making your water, probably why it scored so low. Next is gonna be Vaz, uh, which usually comes in a glass bottle. This one happens to be plastic, which uh, interesting to know if it actually affects the pH levels. Um, but that started to creep up into the 6.0 level, but still 10 times more acidic than where you want your body to be. Then we did Smart Water, which actually adds in some of the minerals um, inside of it, so it adds to um, having calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, that puts the electrolytes back in the water, which I like the electrolytes being in there, um, but it still scored a little below. It was probably around the 6, 6.5 range, uh, still about 5 to 10 times more acidic than, it sh than what you would want. Then we get into Deer Park, this larger bottle here. Uh, again, uh, still a cheaper water to buy. It's 100% natural spring water, but it did score right on at 7.0 pH-wise. Then we went to Fiji. Uh, Fiji scored very well, it scored at 8.0, um, so getting more and more alkaline um, as we move that direction. Evian was next, so kind of goes to show the more you do spend on water like Fiji or Evian, it is more healthy for your body. It gets up, yeah, that's pushing 8.0, 8.5, and then finally, uh, literally Alkalife 10. So this is Alkaline 10 pH. We tested to see if their product was actually uh, truthfully 10.0. And you can see how dark purple this is. That is 10.0 water. Now, water like this, I would not drink on an ongoing, everyday basis. Um, you wouldn't. I would never recommend pouring 10.0 water constantly in your body because your stomach, which is going to get it first, is about two or three um, on the pH scale, sometimes four. And so, if you're constantly pouring 10 in, you're altering the acidity of your body. So that would be more if I was run down, um, I was sick, I was detoxing. I would put 10.0 in the body. Otherwise, I want to stay more in this range here when it comes to pH. pH is the one way of testing water. Two other ways is the cleanliness of the water and uh, how, you know, how it's been filtered. Um, well, Nestle's Pure Life, which I don't have formed here, has actually been shown to be the cleanest in testing, but it doesn't score as well pH-wise. And then the third thing that you'd want to be looking for is the water have energy or life to it. Where spring water would have a, a sort of energy as opposed to more dead water that's been filtered extensively. So water can get complicated, but this is one step in the right direction of making your body more alkaline when you're having water that's more on the upper end. And these ones I would, you know, I'm definitely going to make an effort to stay away from now because I want to be cancer fighting, disease fighting in an alkaline state, not in a cancer forming 
uh, state more, more acidic. So there you go, there's an experiment for the day. Very interesting to see. Can't wait for the cancer killer event coming up. The immune system rebuild on October 17th. If you don't have tickets yet, make sure you confirm your seats or get your seats and bring someone with, because I guarantee someone that you knew today, uh, you thought of that could have heard this information and will benefit from this and a lot more come October 17th. Just respond back if you need some more information. Um, and there you go, a little science experiments with Dr. Living today. <laughs>